So as fashion enthusiasts, it's always great to be on top of the latest trends and kind of be ahead of the crowd. So when you get a buddy and tells you, hey, did you pick up those sweet bombers that are trending? You can be like, you mean the ones I picked up last season? And that's kind of what's cool about style, knowing what's coming ahead. And that's what I wanted to help you guys with today. So of course, there's no surefire way to do this. But if you study the runways of major fashion houses, the street style of all the fashion events like PD Uomo, or Milan Fashion Week or New York Fashion Week and major movies, you can pretty much kind of guess with good certainty what's going to be trending next season. So in today's video, I'm going to give you 11 trends that are going to be trending next season, including a couple hairstyle and facial hair trends. So the first trend is going to be puffed jackets. So of course, bombers were crazy trending in 2016 and I'm pretty sure it's going to carry over to 2017. But the jacket that was seen very often on runways from fashion houses like Raf Simmons and Ami were puffed quilted jackets and you can pretty much rest assured that fast fashion stores like Zara, H&M, Uniqlo are going to pretty much be implementing these designs in the spring summer releases coming up. And puff jackets definitely is a good pickup I think. It looks good and it's a really good alternative to the bomber jacket that almost everybody already has. The next trend I saw especially for spring was a lot of check design. Anything from window pane to Prince of Wales Squares were dominating a lot of the designs from major fashion houses like Paul Smith, Bottega Veneta, and Valentino. Now again, this is, in my opinion, a good trend to pick up. Check design is something that's classic and can carry on up until next year, so it's not something that's going to go out of style. The next trend is fur. Fashion houses like Fendi, Dolce & Gabbana, and Burberry were putting out a lot of coats that were featuring some fur. Now, this is again already apparent in stores like Zara. If you look at their new collection, a lot of their overcoats are going to be featuring obviously faux fur, but that fur design, some other flight bomber jackets have fur on the collar, so fur is definitely trending for this season, but it's very much a statement piece that if you don't feel comfortable with, probably it's what you might want to skip. The next trend that I've been seeing a lot, especially late 2016, and definitely is going to carry on to 2017, is a lot of military, hiking, and outdoor inspired aesthetics and clothing, and you can already see it in a lot of stores today, like Nike released some military inspired Air Force Ones, outdoor inspired field jackets by Zara and H&M. So this is definitely a trend that's going to be coming in strong 2017. Something that I like, especially field jackets. That's one of my favorite type of style of jackets. So it's definitely a good pickup for spring. The next trend is 90s athletic wear. And this is basically just athleisure evolving and becoming even more popular. So athleisure is definitely staying for 2017. But with a little 90s twist, you can definitely be seeing a lot of track suits becoming popular in 2017. 17, fashion houses like Anderson, MSGM, and Burberry were all putting out that type of inspired clothing and the cool thing is that a lot of these houses are making collaborations with like those retro 90 brands like Fila Sports, Champion, and Reebok so you can pretty much expect that same style in fast fashion stores. The next trend that I was seeing from Valencia, Acne Studios, and APC was a lot of baseball caps and dad hats. Now this was something that was trending towards the end of 2016 and I think it's going to follow through to 2017 because it was seen throughout the runway. It's definitely a good piece to pick up it's a simple type of hat that you can throw on especially in athleisure settings or casual settings when you have bad hair days and it's a cheap trend that's gonna make you look good without having to spend a lot of money so let's quickly switch gears and talk about hairstyle so I think a trend that's gonna be very strong in 2017 is that we're stepping away from the fades and those uppercuts that you know basically stormed 2015 and 2016 and we're moving more towards fuller haircuts with more volume that are gonna be more layered so instead of using clippers you might want to ask your barber to start using some scissors another trend that I was seeing a lot from Gucci Louis Vuitton and Garcon home was a lot of rain wear and you're, you're seeing overcoats and just different styles of rain jackets this is a good pickup since rain season is coming and if you pick up the right one this is one that you're gonna be using next season and the season after that so rain jackets are definitely a great pickup and again you're already seeing it in Zara's 2017 drop and H&M's I think a rain jacket could be a good pickup for you guys since it's definitely an essential classic in men's wardrobe and finally the last style trend is windbreakers and windbreakers kind of get like that 80s 90s feeling with them definitely not an essential so you can kind of skip it if you want but if you have a couple bucks to spare and want to look great this season you can definitely pick up a windbreaker because it's gonna be trendy finally the last trend that you might want to hop into for 2017 before it gets super popular 
is with beards. So I think having big bushy beards basically already hit its peak and it's starting to come down. What we're seeing a lot more, especially in movies and in streetwear, is guys shaving down their beard and rocking more stubble. So we're going a return back to stubble when it comes to facial hair. So I think coming into 2017 and all through the year, what you're gonna be seeing is guys rocking their facial hair more neat and well kept as opposed to big bushy beard. So that's basically it for today's video guys. Those are 11 trends that you can pretty much expect in 2017. Those are my predictions that if you want to stay stylish throughout the year, have a little money to spend, you can definitely check out or try any of these 11 trends. So let me know what you think and if I missed any trends, comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. That's it for me in today's video. See you next time.